Oh no, vicious spiders are attacking my kingdom. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bonfire 2 Uncharted Shores. I'm the Mighty Ladies and Gentlemen. We will continue establishing a little settlement. As you see, we're advancing east right now. We need to claim this uncharted land. Also, there's food floating on the river. There's nothing I can do about that. I had like a farm thing over here, but apparently, like, now it's bugged. So yeah, we've also done a few upgrades here and there. Uh, we've managed to get ourselves access to wine. We've got ourselves access to steel. We've got ourselves access to pottery, to bricks. Almost everything the game, I think, has to offer. And also right now, I am gathering sunstones, jewelry, and a bunch of other crap that I don't even know how to use. Yeah, we're also gonna build a bunch of stuff over here. Uh, probably I should try to get myself some more huts, which I... Wait, what? I can build three huts? Okay. Sure, why why not? I would love to build myself some more huts around the settlement. Uh, should I actually try to build them within this side? Or should I try to build them like on a different... Okay, let's slap like a house over there. Maybe later on we're gonna slap a house over there. But the thing is that uh, once monsters attack the v and the villagers get exposed to monsters, they tend to run away. They actually leave their houses and they try to run to the forest, which is not a very good idea. So, uh, yeah, I kind of need to build my houses on the middle island so they're gonna get protected from the incoming dangers. That's the plan. And I think they fixed the music. The music is now playing a bit more often. I hope they've actually fixed that thing because most of the time the game has the stupid tendency that I can run it for like an hour and I hear this music playing in the background like once. Which is really annoying. Just want to point out really quick. Uh, okay, when we're getting the shields done, we got a bunch of ourselves an armor and stuff like that. So that's lovely. I should probably swap my guards. There you go. Yeah, the, the swords are a lot better than the other crap. Okay, my archers are also working the asses to protect the settlement. Good. Good. Keep on firing, boys. You're making a wonderful job. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. See? They are actually protecting the village as intended. Okay, I need to remember to actually swap your equipment uh, with the swords, you know? Okay, I'm gonna give you... Okay, I'm gonna give you strength, actually. Why not? You got... Okay, I'm gonna give you a sword. There you go. Steel sword. So you're gonna be better at your, at your work. Uh, I'll give you more strength. Okay, you got a sword already. What about you? Strength! Okay, you also got a sword. That's nice. What about you, my friend? Agility, range damage. Okay, I'm gonna give you this thing. And I'm gonna actually tell you to go train at the archery range. So cancel you for now. And put this guy inside. So he's gonna be an archer later on. In the meantime, we're gonna put somebody over here who's just gonna be, uh, you know, fighting. So steel and give you like a steel sword. There you go. Wonderful. Right. Okay. Those guys are gonna collect some food. Uh, is there anything else we could try to build? I don't think so. I could actually try to build myself maybe a tannery or stuff like that. I already got one. I think I'm building another one over here. Yeah. Okay. So for now, leave it as it is. Pasture, and this should be a farm if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's a farm. Okay, we're also doing some trading, I believe. Mm, sell iron, buy food, ancient texts, meteor shards, wine. Do I have wine? Yeah, I got 16 wine. So let's do some trading. Oh, yeah! So I remember that one villager I have sent to the barracks to turn him into like a proper fighting force well she finished her training and now she's a drunk tart drunk finished training now drinks wine instead of food yay you're such an addition to to the colony you know you're such a you're such a great addition honestly no like really i love the idea of having a drunk tart in my team i feel so safe right now Really, I do! Oh no, vicious spiders are attacking my kingdom! Oh no, what are we gonna do? Kill them! Kill them faster! Oh my god, this spider has a lot of hit points. Holy shit! Okay, good thing that he actually melted. Right. So the spiders drop you, like, huge amounts of skin and stuff like that. So that's wonderful. Wait, I think this one actually dropped at me some... Oh, you've dropped at me jewelry as well! No, you drop at meteor shards. Okay, well, that's even better. Uh, right. So that is that is progressing. I begin. I do think. Yeah, my people started to build the temple. Very good. We need to. Uh, we need to get the temple because I need to start to study the ancient texts. I cannot progress without having that thing around the con uh, colony. Yeah. See, I got everything built. There's literally nothing else we can get, try to get to advance further. We got 
uh, trade relations with all of the two cities and the and the monk living in the tower. So nothing I can do in that department. We need to get the temple done. And speaking of the devil, holy shit! This is some. Um, <laughs> you can't even uh, you can't even build furniture from IKEA this fast as those guys are building a gigantic temple in the middle of, in the middle of my city. Hell yeah! I'm actually building an Aztec temple. It, this looks like an Aztec, Aztec pyramid. I, I do believe we're gonna be uh, sacrificing some people over here at some point. Probably children uh, as well. So, you know, blood sacrifices and stuff like that. Because, well, let's be honest over here. The God of Light needs his sacrifices. So that's gonna be exactly the thing that we're gonna try to do. Oh yeah, beautiful temple. Build me the temple! Thank you! Okay, now what? Temple monk. Okay. Right, let's send maybe this guy. I mean, woman. Uh, and somebody new has arrived. She work for food. Yeah, welcome aboard. Training. The what? Is that a... Tr Wait, what? Uh, is it just me or I don't have anything new to build? Is it just me or I don't know what to do right now? <laughs> uh... Wait, I'm supposed to build a bridge or something? No. Okay, I think I'm missing something here. What What the heck I'm supposed to do now? Eh. Uh, okay. That's a bit of a difficulty. I'm starting to think that building the hunting lodges on the opposite islands is also a terrible idea because all of a sudden everybody go goes over here to pick up food. This is, this is terrible. Destroy those things. It's useless completely. Same goes for this side. Sorry, it's useless. It's, it's just better to have one hunting lodge in the middle of the island, you know? Because they actually use that one. Uh, well, I guess we just have to adjust, boys. We just have to adjust to the developing darkness and, and craziness of this game. But for n Okay, what the heck is this? What, what, what is the sign? What, what, what does the sign say? What? Is it like too much food inside or what? No idea. Uh, just in case. Yeah, they, they're not picking up food, so... Apparently this thing is working as intended. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna slap one more hunting lodge here. Just to be sure that everything is gonna go according to plan. So that starvation all of a sudden won't hit me, and I won't die like a pathetic moron that I am. I honestly hope that the monk have finished- No, it's still in training. Yay, it's gonna take a while. Okay, anybody new wants to join the settlement? Thriving settlement, you know, full of young people, dedicated team, five years, five years of experience necessary. Anybody? Hello? Hello? Just ignore the fact that two people have died during the recent attack. <laughs> it happens, you know? Right, new brewery is about to get built. Uh, and I really, really need to get more alcohol in the settlement. Because there's no bloody way I'm gonna get this thing on a sober mind. No, 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 no. I need some, I need some, I need some modifications to my, you know, building layout, I guess. And for that thing, I need inspiration. And for that thing, I need wine. So, uh... If you could be so kind, thank you. One maker. Okay, let's see. Right, I'm gonna hire you boys. There you go. Get to work. And same goes for you. What the fuck is happening over here? Worker has passed away. Why? I was not paying attention. All of a sudden, somebody died. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What is happening around here? Ah, finally, we got ourselves a monk, I hope. Uh, I can find him, <laughs> or her, or whatever. Uh, was it you? No. Was it you? No. Was it you? No, I just hope that you didn't fail the training, you know? Because if this is supposed to be some stupid RNG bullshit, then I don't like it already. Okay, you got two different abilities. Right, what? What do you want? I work for food. Of course you will, pathetic bastard. Hold on a second, slow down the game. Where is the guy that used to work over here? Where is he? She oh, great, another failure when it comes to archery training. I can't find, apparently, the person who was recently trained as the monk. Why? Okay, let's use actually the bonfire, maybe. Hmm. I... Hold on a second. Took an arrow to the knee. Hmm. 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 
I can't locate my monk. <laughs> Wait, can I build new stuff, maybe? Mm. Oh, cauldron! Craft items of meteor shots. There you go! Right! Okay, so we just have ourselves a new building, apparently. And nothing else. Hmm. 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 Okay. Sure, why not? So... Oh my god, this thing is actually big. Okay, I'm gonna build it next to the river. Like... This? Yeah. Yeah, that, that that should be a good idea. And for that thing, I also need to train for, uh, trade for Meteor Shards, so... Uh, okay, that's gonna cost me more wine. Sure. Just keep on training for Meteor Shards, because we need to get that thing if we want to build ourselves a cauldron. Don't ask me why I need Meteor Shards for that thing. I'm guessing the guy living inside is gonna shatter them with his little hammer thingy, and then he's gonna sniff in the dust. There's richly no other explanation I have for that bullshit. Sadly, the biggest difficulty right now that I have is just sit here and wait. Why I'm waiting, you ask? Well, because for the construction of the cauldron, I need something called meteor shards. Now you're thinking, okay, well, you just have to trade for that thing. Uh, yeah, the thing is that the cauldron, my dearest friend, requires from me 50 meteor shards. 50 meteor shards. And those dragon bastards from the richest city in the world that we know of require from me five five wine per one meteor shard i'm not saying that they want to start the war with me but they pretty much want to start the war with me right now and it's really bloody annoying also i have found out that apparently the monsters are now capable of attacking me even during daytime and i think that sound was yeah viking attacking Okay, right. One big boy and four of his little bitches coming from this side. Really quick. Right. Okay, please don't die. Well, my warriors died. I, How did you die is just beyond my understanding of the game. Two of my guys died. Two. Two. Two of my warriors just died. Just like that. Why? I, I would like to tell you why. But I don't. No. They just died. Just like that. So the bandits attacked me. They also dropped the meteor shards. I think they dropped the meteor shards. Oh, that's jewelry. No, that's jewelry. Shit. Okay, well... I've sat in the background. I went to make myself some tea. I took a dump. I went back to take some beer. Ship has just this destination. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna check that very soon. Uh, because I kinda hope I can do some new relations with the with the rich city. Let's see. Can I Can I do something over here? They have nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. And I cannot order my ship, I think, to go to a different island as well. Okay, hold on a second. No, 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 no. Not this thing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm trying this. Okay. Can I order you to do to go to that island over there? That one covered in mist. No, I can't. Well shit. Okay, can I order you to get back home? Wait, maybe I have to click on the dock. Nope. The clicking in this game is just like... Okay, yo, take it easy. You got it, man. You got it. You just need to trade a little bit more, and you're gonna get yourself the pathetic, stupid-ass meteor shards that is necessary to build you a cauldron. And guess what? You're gonna need even more items after that, say the meteor shards, if you want to actually use that thing to, I don't know, benefit your little community. Yay! And also... Oh, great, now the music completely bugged. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you do this thing to me, game? If you can ignore the weird ass music going in the background, this is actually, well, getting built. Okay, I think I will have to wait till tomorrow morning to build this thing, but. Yeah! Finally, we're getting there, boys. Oh, Jesus, thank Christ, it took ages. Okay, I'm gonna probably still have to trade for some more meteor shards. But this price is ridiculous. Like, this is the slowest item requiring I have ever done in any video game. And this is just barely the beginning. Also, next time, like, not for the future notice, if you're gonna be building a city in this game, then you don't have walls. And you people are really stupid. So, I guess that for the maximum efficiency, you should probably consider your buildings uh, to be used as walls. Like, an actual walls. Like, let's say, you know, StarCraft slash... Uh, Warcraft 3 uh, multiplayer PvP type of a style thingy. Since you don't have walls in that game, you have to use those, right? Okay, what the sh flaming sword? Call for enemies like butter, letter meteor shards, gems. Solar armor provides the ultimate protection. Okay. 
Yeah, but getting meteor shards is solar forge. Alter to summon the titan. Oh, finally I'm getting somewhere with this bullshit. Okay, and the music bucket once again. Wait, I wonder can I use the steel thingy? No, I cannot. How? What? Like, what's the actual way to get you know steel bricks, sunstones? Okay, we got those things. And this item is, I mean, this building is actually, wow, it's big. Okay, right, sure, whatever. I don't think I'll be able to slap it in the middle of my city. So probably I'll have to slap it somewhere over here. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna slap it, that's for sure. Uh, maybe actually I should try to destroy those things and slap it in the middle. I don't know. Can I? I still cannot get a better ship than I have at the moment. I don't understand how the hell you're supposed to get to the other... Oh, I just need 10 meteor shots to make myself one flaming sword. Or 10 meteor shots if I want to build myself a uh, solar armor. Sure. Yeah, it's not like this is gonna be a real pain in the ass to get. Also, I still don't know why I need the gems for. Like only for the crafting of the of the of the of the endgame items. Is that the, like the only reason for it? I, I, I thought I actually gonna try to trade for it, for like something, anything. No? That's not gonna happen? Well, that's just a pity. Okay, well. Dudes, dudes, li guys, boys, listen, listen, listen. We got the Calderon. Uh, I didn't say it's gonna be like super great, but we got it. And we can actually use it to get the Meteor Shards. I mean, the Flaming Sword or the Solar Armor. Uh, which I, if I remember correctly, was like really awesome to have. At some point back in the original game. Uh, but still, I don't know where I'm gonna build my solar forge. Probably here. So I have to wreck two houses and one watchtower. That doesn't sound like a half bad idea since I'm getting attacked from the sides anyway, all the time. And I think I can use the houses as, you know, as a wall. So if I'm gonna build the houses, let's say, hmm. If I build them here, then still that should benefit me one way or another. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna do that thing. So, slap one house over here, slap the other house right over here, make a little road thingy here, and then you're gonna go, mm, give me a minute, I know that you are asking for permission to join my glorious settlement. What do you want? I want it for the food! Of course you will, you pathetic bastard. Alright. So I got wine. Uh, do I need any stupid resources to build this solar altar? Solar forge. Sunstones, bricks, and steel. No, nothing out of the ordinary. I got already 200 steel and 100 bricks. Bricks are not a complete issue whatsoever. We, we can even try to get one more guy. For example, this guy over here, and he's gonna make me even more bricks. Uh, we still got some clay, so that's great. Okay, we can actually get somebody maybe over here to work uh, with that thing. Yeah, because that's gonna increase my wine output, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, Ruby. That's exactly the thing that's getting done over there. Okay, right, this is progressing slowly, but steady forward. Upgrade that. Upgrade this. Upgrade it once again. Okay, maximum upgrade. And get the other home. Upgrade. Upgrade. I okay, we can almost upgrade it. That's not a problem. Now, demolish this tower. Destroy. Destroy this house. Destroy. And destroy this house. Sweet. Now, move those people inside here. So they'll be safe from incoming dangers and stuff like that. And basically speaking, I just made myself a spot. For the Solar Forge. So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here. We've managed to advance as forward as much as that is humanly possible, I think. I hope. So next time, we're gonna be building ourselves finally the Solar Forge. And, well, apparently we need to get ourselves the Titan. I'm kind of surprised that there are like islands around me that I haven't yet discovered. And I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do to discover them. Maybe after building the Solar Forge, we can actually get the possibility to do so. I don't know. We'll see. 
that's gonna be the thing ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna try to focus on during the next episode if you want to try the game yourself link in description below uh but keep in mind that this is like a small indie game so you know it's a bit clunky you need to have patience you know this game has how to use them <laughs> you need to have patience towards it but still, if you like enjoying those little survivor games and you've really enjoyed the first game, then, well, you're gonna have a good time with this one as well. But for now, though, I'm not making too much, so I'll just leave this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Please, a lot. I'll see you in the next video.